Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. Now this will be for March 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. Hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget, it is a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Now I'm using a new deck that I have. It's called The Guardian Angel Messages Tarot by Radley Valentine. Um, I love all these other decks, so I thought, why not? Okay, Pisces. I swear that card has come up with every reading, I reckon, so far. Same direction and everything. It's always in reverse. I haven't seen that card in these readings yet. What a nice card. Okay. On the bottom, Ten of Air. This is recovering from an end or resisting an inevitable end. We will see when I get more cards. The Knight of Water in reverse. This comes in like Prince Charming, this person, Prince, Princess, whatever. But they're more a fraud, they're a liar, they're lazy, they're jealous, they have a short attention span, um, they're the opposite. And I feel like there's either no communication with this person or this person is sarcastic, cynical, gossipy, insulting, rude. They're all talk and no action, they know everything, you know, they're just not very truthful. Um, they don't want to talk about things. But I feel like at the same time, you're not all that happy in this relationship. You're unfulfilled, you're bored, you're doubting, you're feeling like you're stuck, you're dissatisfied, you're discontent, you're depressed. But at the same time, you're resisting the change. All right, as I said on the table, the first card you've got is the one that everyone keeps getting, actually, which is all about the king of air in reverse. Somebody who misuses their power, they're manipulating, controlling, cruel. And I feel like, you know, you're indecisive, though. You, you can't make up your mind. You can't make a decision. You're weighing up your options. You know, you know everything. You know this person, but yet, you know, you're confused. It's like you, you keep avoiding making a decision. But this is karma. I haven't seen this card in these readings yet, which is unusual. Karma card that is, is, you know, it's weird. The justice card is normally number 11, and for some reason, I'm not sure why, but it's number 8. Um, Yeah, for some reason they, this, this deck has made it number 8. I'm not sure why. And the strength is number 11. Okay, I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, that's all about the truth coming out, the justice card. 
um, fairness. You know, what you do, what you give is what you get back. As I said, justice and karma. So I feel like justice is going to be served. Can you tell me more about that? Pisces. You really need to stand your ground. You've got a lot of inner turmoil, deep seat of fears. There's secrets. You just need to release your worry. And I feel like you worry because you think, you know, you're not going to get anyone if you move on. But you do need to move on because you will meet somebody new. Unfortunately, the situation leaves you feeling like a victim. Feeling like you're being left out in the cold by this person. Rejected. All those things. Um, now you've got the six of earth. If you need help, ask. I feel like you have possibly more money than they do. And I feel like this person... That's manipulating and controlling and cruel. I feel like it sees, they see you as somebody who has a firm foundation, has more money than them, has, is able to support them. You know, it's like, I feel like this is very similar to Sag. I feel like they're using you for what you can do for them. Give me one second. Okay. you really need to take some time and just kind of contemplate rest recuperate do some meditation you know relax retreat rest like all those things because Like, you will have success in your life. But you've really got to stop deceiving yourself that this person isn't, you know, doing something they shouldn't or they're not the type of person that you thought they were. The person you don't want to walk away from, even though you're not even happy. And that comes back to your self-worth. Now, you're indecisive and trying to avoid these, making this decision, but at the same time, you know, you also need to work on your codependency. And maybe you need to nurture yourself. I feel like you haven't wanted to take action. Even if you're not happy, you haven't wanted to take action. I feel like you have these expectations and you keep on waiting for this return on investment. It's like you put in all this time and effort. It's like you want to reap all the efforts. You're waiting for those ships to come in. You have goals, you have vision, but you're always in that period of waiting. Waiting for them to become who you want them to be. Waiting for them to step up. Waiting for them to, whatever this is. And I feel like you want to have this ten of earth. You want to have this, you know, um, happy family life with the happy, you know, with the security and the, the money and the comfort you know you want to grow old with your your family and your dog and your you know money and whatever you you want you want to be comfortable as i said you have goals for your life but i feel like you know even though somebody's codependent and 
possibly you not taking action. You're a very generous person and you seem to give them a lot of money, a lot of, a lot of things. But I feel like if the truth came out, like you feel like they left you in the cold, but you are, you know, I feel like you work hard. You, you know, it's going to take courage and you can recover from being hurt. Once again, though, self-respect, self-confidence. Who are you as a person? You really need to re-establish who you are. What it is you want? What are your goals? What is your vision? What is it you want? What is it you're getting? Is it what you want? What you're getting? As I said, I just feel like you're exhausted. makes me tired you're burnt out you just feel like you're always trying to you know contemplate things but you're feeling like you're stuck at the same time Yeah, unfortunately, even though you know what you want, it's easier to stay in your comfort zone. But then you get frustrated because you're always you know, you're always actively waiting. It's like they're the same card but upside down and um, in reverse and up right here. You know what you want. You just don't go, don't know how to go about getting it, or you are scared to leave the comfort zone. Um, it could be a Sag. But you're in control of you, and you can only choose how you respond. So this is about, you know, I feel like, self-control maturity wisdom you know like you want harmony in your life and it's funny four and one is five and five's all about conflict loss and change and i feel like you stay in your comfort zone but it doesn't make you happy You have a lack of hope. Aquarius. You know. And I don't feel like you want to be by yourself though either. Like, I feel like nobody wants to. And especially as you get older, you don't want to be by yourself. Like, you don't want to be this person sitting there by themselves. You know what I mean? You want to, you know, have had a life with or not walking alone by yourself. You know what I mean? You want to, you want to be with this family, with their dog and, you know, you want that. And it does affect your heart. I feel like you went through a period of emotional loss. Sorrow, disappointment, frustration, grief. 
you know, maybe you've had a broken marriage, you know, and I feel like you didn't trust your intuition. But there'll be some sort of tower moment if it hasn't already, which is like a revelation, awakening. It can also be something like an upheaval or a chaos or a really sudden unwanted change. But I feel like turn to your friends, your circle of support, because you can have victory and success. And I know that card came up before and I thought, interesting. Let's get some... Romance Angel cards. Can I get a couple of cards for the Pisces? As I said, trust your intuition. Take whatever steps you're guided to take. If you want happiness and you want this Ten of Earth, then you've got to make that happen. You know, you can't always be sitting there waiting, 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 waiting. You need to forgive and learn. And as I said, there's something to do with your finances and career. But unfortunately, you, you try to control a situation so that it doesn't... Like, it's easy to hold it on because you're scared of, I guess... You know, the unknown. And I feel like you had all these personal goals. I feel like you, you know, you have all these things, but you aren't going to get it where you are. Hmm. All right. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next read. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.